Hello YouTubers. Sometimes I, like some of you, ignore good advice and it's only when I learn my lesson that I change. For years, mechanics have been advising us to shut off the fuel and let the engine run dry on lawnmowers between mowings and especially before storage for the winter. I'd always added fuel preservative to the last seasonal tank of gas and ran it through the carburetor thinking this would help with gummed up carburetor jets and crusty diaphragms. But with the next mowing season, I would suffer through surging throttle speeds and clogged carburetors once again. Well, enough is enough. I'm going to show you how easy it is to install a fuel shutoff onto your riding mower. This is the way it will look after we're finished, and it couldn't be simpler to install, so let's get after it. I ordered this kit off eBay and I'll post a link below this video's description if you'd like to follow suit. Since I plan on installing a shutoff on both my riding mowers, a kit containing three shutoffs was not unheard of, especially when the price I paid includes all the clamps and three fuel filters. These quick clamps fit standard size fuel lines and install with only the use of some slip joint pliers. We'll squeeze these two ears together on the clamps and slide it onto either side of the fuel shutoff tabs to secure the fuel line. In case the kit didn't come with clamps, I purchased this version to use instead. These expand from 5 sixteenths to 5 eighths of an inch and can be tightened using a nut driver or just a plain old flat screwdriver. Given a comparison of the two, the clamps I bought requires two hands to install and remove. Because of this, I'd much rather use the quick clamps as they can be installed with one hand while holding the fuel line with the other. These are some of the tools we will need. The box cutter is optional. If you have a hefty set of gripped cutters, they will work better for this operation. And don't forget your gloves and eye protection. One thing that is not optional is a catch basin. There will be lots of dripping gasoline, so you'll need a method of capture and proper disposal. You'll want to hold the fuel shutoff in place while operating the lawnmower hood to ensure the mounting is performed where there is no friction or interference. It is at this point I will make a witness mark with a sharpie. Note that I'm mounting the shutoff between the fuel filter and the fuel pump. If you have cutters with long enough jaws, making one single cut is preferred. Otherwise, try your best when making multiple attempts to cut straight across the fuel line. I had a round pencil and a Bic pin lined up to plug the gas line coming from the tank but I just happened to grab the pin first and it worked perfectly. One of the quick clamps was slid right over the top of the pin and using my slip joint pliers, pushed up onto the fuel line about three inches. Next, the second of the clamps is installed onto the other half of the cut fuel line like this. I inserted one end of the fuel shutoff into the half of the fuel line that wasn't leaking, effectively taking my time. Then, removing the pin, briskly moved to press the other half into place. Now, I could have left the shutoff in this position, but decided to twist it vertical to perhaps avoid any sticks or yard impediments that might accidentally reach up and turn off the gas while mowing. The clamps are moved up closer to the shutoff in order to pinch tight the underlying shutoff tabs inside the fuel line. I give it a quick once over to check for leaks. And finally give it one last test for hood clearance. In conclusion, I have checked the time it takes to run the carburetor dry after shutting off the gas with the engine idling. The time is approximately 30 seconds, a small price to pay to avoid gumming up the carburetor jets. My hard-headedness is behind me, and this project is complete. 